certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back go, out there. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, you want to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They go play action here on first down. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. Touchdown, Fire! George Kittle, 53 yards. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. This is taken at his four. A nice little juke. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Let's go. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And he'll get about three as he takes us up near the 25. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. From the 25 on second down, Mahomes. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time? time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. First down, a run with Cohen. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Time has expired on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports.